We took on Warner Brothers print license for Europe, which doubled the size of the company overnight. This meant that I increased my staff level hugely. We ended up with something like 20 people in the warehouse. We were totally paper-based, so we were producing reams and reams of orders on paper. The pickers would then walk around the shelves picking orders. I wanted to look at how we could make the warehouse functions more efficient. With looking at various options, voice seemed to be the most up-to-date technology for us in this area. And the examples that I had at that time were with larger companies and it was quite a job to make people realise that although we're a small user, we were actually a viable proposition for voice picking. I created a business case for Faber Music Directors and provided costs on our initial running on the paper-based system, how much the new system would cost us and what the payback would be. We help uh, companies to uh, build a business case by doing a full business process review with them. So we work with their process experts and their warehouse key, key persons to really try and understand their processes um, and help with them identify which of their processes will give them the most benefits from voice enablement. I initially estimated that a payback with the new system would be 18 months, but in effect it came in on 13 months. Bringing in voice has totally removed the use of any paper whatsoever. The warehouse is 30,000 square foot for our forward warehouse, then we have a bulk warehouse which is 12 metres high. We have in excess of 120,000 titles in the warehouse. We can stock between one copy and thousands of copies per title. We pick in excess of 5,000 orders per month. We look at pickers picking up to 150 order lines per hour. Before on paper we were lucky to get 50 to 60 order lines an hour. One of the beauties of the voice system is the flexibility of it. On paper picking we used to have a huge problem where the pickers would go and pick an orchestral score, but rather than picking the whole score, what they would do was just pick violin part one, for instance. So what we did with the system is we've been able to design it in such a way that when the system tells you to go and pick one item, it will say one copy, one CD, one DVD or one set. And this way we've been able to minimise quite a number of our pick errors that we were having previously. The primary benefit of using voice technology in the warehouse is enabling warehouse operatives to operate hands-free and eyes-free. This allows them to be more productive and more accurate. It takes a lot more time by picking by paper because you're always looking down at the invoice rather than the voice. The voice is in your ear, tells you what to do and you pick it. Yes, it's, it's more accurate and we get our jobs done uh, much more quickly. The great advantage of voice is because it requires minimal training, no more than 20 minutes per person perhaps, you can get new people in and have them up and skilled and productive. It allows you to cut back the amount of time that goes into new people, contractors and just adjust your workforce accordingly. We were the first in our industry to implement the voice system and this has been received very well. This has also helped us to gain extra catalogues for distribution as well as promoting our own products worldwide. Voice has helped us in the current economic downturn by making us much more recession proof. As Faber themselves have said, they've actually been able to create a much leaner and more agile business. We've been able to make huge savings by making the business less reliant on headcount. This has uh, also enabled them to uh, provide much faster uh, customer service without compromising on productivity or quality.